in the early days of the prison, it was actually ahead of the game in a lot of ways. Like it now I see where they put their money into. It had electricity before the town itself had electricity. It had one of the first hospitals in town. It was also the first building to get air conditioning when that became a thing, but not in the cells, just like in the other buildings, you know, the okay, so warden's house and things like that. So electricity, was that because they were electrocuting some of these people? Is that really, we got to, no. <laughs> no. I don't think that was a thing. I think that just the warden and the guards and everybody that was there and then that you get the hospital it's the first hospital they need electricity for these kinds of things so oh. that it was the first place they invested money in in the town well that's good i'm glad that they got air conditioner they were just like man it is rank can we do something to and they're like yeah turn on the air <laughs> they don't get more bass they're just like and now it's cooler <laughs> right they're still using that fucking bucket but, <laughs> the, but the guards are all like "Woo!" It feels I know. great. <laughs> it feels so good when I lift up my pits and I put it right in front of the air conditioner too, guys. You should all do this. Ugh, the smell is just. <laughs> there was also a local woman that was hardcore about the inmates needing like education and stuff. So she petitioned and raised money and got the jail, the prison, one of the best libraries in town. So at Holy least the crap. prisoners had that. Yeah, I bet they were studying up on all the diseases and things that they were passing around, huh, and <laughs> uncleanliness. I bet that pissed them off. Well, okay, that is really sweet that they had a, a super awesome library. I mean, if you're in jail, you got nothing else to do but read. Yeah, while you sit on the bucket. On the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have your cell phone back then. Oh, you're borrowing the book from the library on the bucket, then you have to use, you know, your sleeve. Oh, God, I'd hate to be the person that touches that book afterwards. There's Mike again. That was the book I wanted. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's doing the same thing so it's just like yeah spreading it around <laughs> you can see who rented it last by the smears on the book instead oh of <laughs> no that's gross i'm sorry that's where i go with it like poo fingerprints on there or whatever it's nasty they didn't have a library card they just had poo smears oh you put your poo print <laughs> that's gross this is gross so even though the prison was no cakewalk for the inmates the locals nicknamed it the Country Club of Yuma. Damn, really? <laughs> yeah, because they were like, we want fucking electricity want and air conditioning. <laughs> they were totally overlooking all the rest of that shit that was horrible. They missed some steps in there. They were like, <laughs> you have a bathroom, right? <laughs> they do yeah, not. Right? No, these guys are using their sleeves or rocks or uh, leaves, rocks. whatever's hanging around. I There's mean, no leaves. <laughs> no, no leaves. No. You gotta drip dry or you gotta shake it off i mean and Ugh. then they're calling it a country club wow. yeah some country club <laughs> that's the one i can afford 